Wall Streeters and hedge fund managers known for their impressive wine cellars would feel right at home here in Midtown Manhattan, where wine lovers descended on a wine tasting like no other. The wine experience is held every year, and it really is the premier wine event in the industry. It brings together top wineries from around the world and thousands of committed consumers who are just passionate to taste these wines. We come every year. Uh, my husband is a wine aficionado. So they're offering some of the finest wines you can ever taste. What's your favorite kind of wine? The one I have in my glass right now and the one that I'll have next as well. From your French Bordeaux's to your California Chardonnay's, the bottles were opened, poured, and enjoyed. Some of the wines here retail for close to $1,000 a bottle. With 267 wineries from around the world pouring six bottles of top-rated wines each, more than 1,600 bottles were polished off. That's thousands and thousands of glasses. So how much wine is too much wine to taste? It depends on whether you spit or not. Professional tasters spit, and at that rate, you could probably do 40 or 50, and there's always some guy who does 100. But most people, I think, will taste 20 or 30 wines. More than 2,500 people paid anywhere from $267 to $2,200 to sip and enjoy. Proceeds go to the Wine Spectator Scholarship Foundation, an organization that's raised more than $25 million over the years. You won't just find wine lovers at this event, we also tracked down a few people who made wine their second career. Well, believe it or not, I was an investment banker. I used to work for Goldman Sachs in the London office, and then I was running a private equity fund for Banco Santander in Latin America. And I quit everything and I started my own wine business and I own three wineries around the world. Before I worked at the winery, I was an attorney and then I was involved in politics. I ran for office a couple times and then I was appointed to be ambassador to Austria by Bill Clinton. And now I'm not doing diplomatic functions, but I'm making wine, pouring wine, selling wine. It's just as much fun. Why did you leave banking for wine? Well, I, I wonder that every night before I go to bed and when I check my, uh, my checking account. But, I, you know, I, I, we only live once and you have to uh, live your dream and wine making was my dream. Whether you dream of quitting your Wall Street job to buy a winery or just like to raise a glass, there was a lot of celebrating and money raised at this sold-out event. Cheers. I'm Rhonda Schaffler for The Street.